daughter, Lily. Can you imagine me coming to Washington the first time to see Lily on stage at the Kennedy Center? Some people come for the sights of the monument. I come for the sights of Lily Tom. I better get inside because I don't want to miss a thing, and don't the rest of you miss anything. So, <laughs> Mom, I want. I, so, what did you think? Did you like the show? Oh, I loved it. Give me a big lift. Did it? <laughs> yes, it did. Uh -huh. I thought you were great. <laughs> Anyway, it made me very happy that you liked the show so much. Oh, I know. It's, it's wonderful to see you up there and all the things you can do, you know, from one character to another. It's Wait, great. Do you remember the one time you ordered all of these magic tricks and itchy powder and... And old flies and plastic ice cubes and... Yes. And uh, other things more disgusting to me that I'd rather not mention. <laughs> uh, and when they arrived, you couldn't pay for them. Do you remember that? I remember the whole thing because it was a really big learning uh, lesson that you gave me. Yes. The reason I ordered all that stuff that one particular time is because I stayed home from school and uh, I had a cold or something and I was reading an old Red Rider comic book and I see all these old great things in the back and so I just send off for them COD because it says send no money. Right. So I think, well, great. I feel as if I'm the only child in the world that discovered I could get this stuff free. And so <laughs> several weeks went by, and I'd forgotten all about it. And I come home one day. I never forget you. I can see you standing in the hallway, you know, in that old apartment. And you came in. You said, young lady, I want to know if you ordered a whole bunch of old junk out of an old comic book. And I said, and of course, I got so excited because I thought I was going to get it and, and get it into my hands. And I said, oh, where is it? Where is it? And you said, well, you can have it when you can pay me back because it had cost like about $11 or something, which was a lot of money then. And you'd, sure was, a lot of <laughs> and money. And you'd paid, you'd paid the postman for it, see? Yes. So I said to you, well, how is a kid going to get any money? You know, because it was I was about eight years old, and, uh, and you said, and you're the one, you gave me this great concept. You said, well, you can, you can go to all the neighbors and tell them what you'll do. You'll, you can take out their garbage, walk their dog, go to the store. Don't you think that was great that I it talked to that? It was fabulous, and I put it into practice, and... Uh, and I was sort of financially independent ever since. Right. <laughs> when you were 16 and moved out, it broke my heart. I, I didn't move out for long, though, did I? No, Wasn't you I didn't. home right for supper like a couple nights later and <laughs> have a little laundry done and things like uh, that? <laughs> I, because at, at 16, I thought a girl should be home with her mother. I couldn't have my first date till I was 16, and here she was moving out was really more part of the trappings, you know, it was like image, like I wanted to have this room that was my own. And um, you had a room at home that was your own. <laughs> <laughs> the first show on Lafayette. Yeah. Your dad was, I think, more excited than I was. He said, he was sitting by me on the couch, and he said, can you imagine that being my daughter up there? And I said, yes, because it's my daughter, too. <laughs> <laughs> so what did you think when you saw old Ernestine? I, don't, I thought she was great, but I still love Edith Ann. Oh, you do? And that's the truth. <laughs> Mother, you've made me laugh so much over the years, and then you've said the most tender, sweet things to me, and and we've, I don't know, you've been, you've sort of, you've dealt pretty good with me. And I've loved everything you've said to me. And I'm glad to have you for my daughter. Oh, Mommy. Mm -hmm.